Hello coin collectors, welcome back to your change review. This week we're doing our second request video as we complete the EU trilogy of coins with, and I need to get this right, the rarest post decimalization circulated coin with the 50p to celebrate the UK presidency of the Council of Ministers and the completion of the single European market. I know that's a bit of a mouthful. Now I'll post a link below to the other two EU coins which have been minted and I've covered off in previous videos and I'm going to just put a little caption at the end to show the difference of each one as these are three coins you don't want to mix up particularly with how rare this one is as well. Now I just need to clear up a couple of things before we get fully into it. Now this is the rarest coin minted and circulated post decimalization but it is one of the old style larger 50p's and as such it has been demonetized so you're unlikely to find it in your change in circulation. The rarest coin you will find at the moment if you're very lucky is the Q Gardens 50p with only 210,000 minted and we will come on to that coin in a later video as there's a lot of hype over it. But with this one there was only 109,000 minted in cupronickel which of course is nearly half that of the Q and as this coin has a very low mintage figure it does put the price up as well if you are looking to buy or sell one of these and looking online at the last five that were sold from circulation they went for an average of £29.40 which is really high when you compare it to other circulated coins and to the fact that you can get a silver proof version of this which went on average for 32.20, only a few quid more. But then there were only 100,000 of them minted as well. Now, condition is always going to be a key factor when buying or selling any coin, particularly a circulated one. And this one is quite beaten. It's been scratched, it's got bronze disease as well. And as you know, you shouldn't really clean your coins. So for this one, I'm going to just put it in a nice airtight capsule to stop the bronze disease spreading further and to protect my other coins in my collection as well. And I really should do a video on coin care one day. I probably will. Anyway, so with that all out of the way, let's come on to the coin design itself. It was done by Mary Milner to celebrate the UK presidency of the Council of Ministers in the second half of 1992 and to celebrate the completion of the single market which started the 1st of January 1993. And we actually have those two years at the top here as well. And this was actually one of the first coins to feature a dual date. But we'll come back to this design in a moment as I just want to pick it up and turn it over. And as you can see here, we've got the third portrait of Queen Elizabeth II by Raphael Maclouf. And as usual, I'll post a link below to the video where I cover off the portraits of Queen Elizabeth II. So, coming back onto the reverse, the design Mary has gone for is an overview of a conference table with the UK at the head. And then 11 other chairs around the table as well to represent the other member state that were in the EU at the time. And then across it we have these 12 stars which is laid out in the geographical position to each other's capitals and where they're positioned within Europe. And the lines represent the trade routes between the countries as that is what the single European market was set up to do, to grant free access of goods, capital, service and people, or the four freedoms as they are known. And then at the bottom here we have the denomination. Now, even though this coin is a little battered, I do like it. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. And if there's any other coins you'd like us to review, also let us know as well. But if you've enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, coin collectors, thanks for watching and keep collecting. Bye.